Governor Greg Abbott calling for an investigation to ensure Texans never experience the kind of outages that we've seen over the past few days. He declared reform of the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, which manages the state's power grid. While there is a push for change tonight, outages are expected to continue. The night team's Jaffney Gray with one resident's experience and has tips you can use if you or your loved ones find yourselves without power. First few hours of this, I was okay with, oh, hang in there, you know, it'll be all right. But after 24 hours, hang in there, gets frustrating. Like thousands of San Antonians, Sebastian Martinez is doing his best to wait out the winter weather without power. The lights went out and the cold started to creep in. At first, you know, the five minutes, I was like, okay, you know, I'll try and do a little bit at a time, maybe charge my phone, you know, get the heater to kick on or something. But when the five minutes got less and less, I was like, this is ridiculous. It's a cycle he's dealt with for nearly two days. He said having those little windows of power seemed pointless, and the situation left him thinking about his neighbors. Like the elderly who don't have the resources to reach out. Maybe they don't have anybody to take care of them anymore. Um, people who have young infants who really do need like that warm environment, as well as people with special needs. Joe Arrington with SAFD says their call volume has increased three to four times. But we know it's frustrating, but we are here to here for the, the people of San Antonio, if they need anything, um, be patient with us. He said if you find yourself without power, make sure to cover small openings of the doors. Roll up a towel or a blanket and put it at the bottom of that door. It'll keep the draftiness from coming into your house and causing that cold air. Same thing with your um, with your fireplace. If you're not burning a fire, make sure that flue is closed. And you might want to consider keeping the curtains closed and keeping the family in one room with blankets. Stay with your immediate family, those you live with, huddle together and keep warm and we will get through this. If you're using a generator, make sure it's at least 20 feet away from your home. Also, no matter how tempting it is, never use your gas stove to warm up your house. It's both a fire hazard and a hazard for carbon monoxide poisoning. Jaffany Gray, KSAT 12 News.